welcome to another video. This is a cook with me video, but this is one that I am probably more excited about than most. Most. So Disneyland put out a bunch of their recipes, I'm sure you guys have heard, for a lot of their popular like food items. And we are gonna try three of them out today, you guys. We are copycats. We are copycatty. Meow, 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 meow. <laughs> Oh, I was like, why are you a cat? But we said coffee cat. Okay, first off, you guys, it's <laughs> like, late. So it's late. <laughs> it is late, you guys. And yeah, it's late. <laughs> That's all we gotta say. So, you guys, honestly, I'm so excited about these. When I went online to like look up what was involved with all these, because I'm like, these are definitely gonna not be easy because it's Disneyland. Wrong! They are so easy. Like, these recipes are like almost like. Why am I paying $12 for like a little Dole Whip at Disneyland? Serious. So anyways, you guys, we are going to make these. We're going to see how they turn out. We're going to let you guys know if they taste like the real thing. Because all of these items that we are making, we have had at Disneyland. Oh, yes. So we're going to try them out, make them, see how they are. So first up, we are doing the Dole Whip. Well, what? yeah. And then? And then we will be doing the churros. No, the corn dogs. The corn dogs. And Danny's actually doing the corn dogs. Because yes. He's a corn dog fanatic. And then after the corn dogs, we will be doing the churros. 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 Oh, wow. <laughs> churros. <laughs> Is that how you say it? Yeah, it's just most people. Say churro. No, churro. Is it a Mexican thing? Yeah. No. Churros. Churros? Yes. Oh. And, but most people don't laugh after they say it. <laughs> So we're gonna be making churros. Churros. <laughs> churros. <laughs> oh my god. It's more fun when you laugh with it. That's true. That's true. Okay, so first off is the Dole Whips, you guys. I love, love, love these. These are so delicious. And literally our last time we went to Disneyland, we all, this was one thing we all wanted to oh, yeah. see Oh, Dole Whips, you better hurry and eat that Leaning Tower of Dole Whip. Oh, what kind did you guys get? I got, I got, I got raspberry and pineapple. Oh. So, all you need for this, you guys, is what you see right here. Vanilla ice cream, pineapple juice, two cups of pineapples. Frozen. Which, yes, frozen pineapples, which you guys are gonna see a little bit of color on ours because the store has zero that are just the bag of pineapples. So we had to do a mixed bag, so you're gonna see a little bit. The color might be off a little bit, we'll see. But we're gonna make do, so we're gonna use that. And then you are gonna need like a, what do you call these things? A little cone, a little coney. You're gonna need a little coney bony, and then <laughs> you're gonna put the ice cream in, so you get like the swirl. What are these called? Everyone in the comments are cringing right now. They're like, <laughs> come on, Tina. But you know what I'm saying, this thing, right here. Okay, and then you're gonna need a blender, that's it. Easy peasy. Easy peasy. And Pineapple I'm like, are squeezy. You serious? I'm almost in disbelief that this is the actual recipe. But Disneyland says it is. Let's do this. Let's do it. All right, so here we are. We've got our ninja blender ninja. ready to go. All right, so first things first, you guys, make sure your blender has the blades in it. You're welcome. We're going to put that in there. And then, you guys, this is literally so easy. You're going to take your vanilla ice cream. We only have French vanilla, so that could sway the taste a little bit too. Oh, I didn't know they had original they did? vanilla. Yeah. Why would you get vanilla when I say vanilla ice cream? <laughs> because French vanilla I thought was like the basic, but I don't know. It's a little bit different, but I think it'll be okay. This is kind of hard because for this recipe it says one big scoop of ice cream. So I'm guessing like what's big? Big is relative. Like Let me see me. that spoon. Which one's bigger? Well that one. That's way really big. Okay, big boy. <laughs> Okay, big boy, let's go. Okay, so is this a big scoop? Yeah. Yeah, okay, let's do that. We're gonna just Boom. test that out. Okay, so you're gonna do the ice cream in there, and then we're gonna do the pineapple juice, which is four ounces, which equates to... Half a cup. Half a cup. So we're gonna do that. And we're gonna pour this bad boy right in her. Boom. Then we are gonna do two cups of pineapple. Frozen pineapple. Yes. Boom, 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 boom. And honestly, boom. if you guys find them in your store, you are lucky. Yeah, because honestly, we couldn't find strawberries. We couldn't find, like, all we could find were the mixed bags. So yes. we are going to make do. And this literally was the last mixed bag. Oh, wow. Yeah, got lucky. I got lucky. This was meant to be. Okay, so we're going to blend this all up. You guys, like, literally, to me, 
Who believes that this is actually a thing? And you blend it until it's smooth. Yes, blend it till it's smooth. That's it. How did you know I said that? Because I know. Mm, <laughs> tricky, Danny, <laughs> tricky. So let's blend this bad boy. Okay, so we've got it all mixed up. We are gonna open this bad boy. Ooh, let me see this consistency. Ooh. Oh, you guys. So like I said, the color might be a little bit off, but do we care? No, we don't. Cause that still looks amazing and delicious. So look, this is the kind of the consistency. You need it to have a little thickness, even though it's smooth, to squeeze out of the piping bag. Yes, exactly. But we're gonna save every little bit of this, cause yum. Okay, so now we are gonna literally spoon this into this. We figured it out, guys. It's called a piping bag. Just FYI. <laughs> because the recipe said put it into the piping bag. <laughs> you guys, we are bringing Disneyland to the home. Wow. Maybe we should turn our house into Disneyland. Well, that is a possibility. That is. So this is basically just to get that famous swirl. Wow. I am not doing a good job. Don't know this. how much it matters when the. We don't care. It's not going to fill the cup all the way to the top. Why not? If it fills it all the way, then you it'll swirl like that at the top. Do you know what I'm saying? Oh my! I'm so bad at this. Okay, who cares? Wow, it that tastes looks good. good though. Oh. How do you feel the texture is? I feel like the Dole Whips are a little thicker than this. Yeah, we might have we might have blended it too much, you think? I don't know. Possibility. Possibility, but you know what? It's the taste that matters. Okay, you guys, so here it is. It literally did not swirl up like a normal Dole Whip, but that's okay. And the color's a little off, like I've been saying the whole night. Um, but we're gonna try it out. Okay, I'm gonna try it, and then we're gonna have Ashlyn try it to see what she thinks. Mm. Really? That's good. But okay, here we go. Does it taste like Disneyland? Well, they have a different thickness, so something was up with the thickness. And I'm sure they use maybe fresh pineapple juice, maybe you know what I'm saying? Like that matters. The yeah. difference of like what kind of pineapple juice they use. Well, and, and I think this not look yellow. this pineapple <laughs> juice um, was is like lukewarm. It's not wasn't cold. Try it. It's still really good though. Do you that's like good. it? Yeah. Yeah, she went for seconds. Okay, hey, that's good. Does it taste <laughs> like Disneyland? Ashlyn? Uh, you can you can fill it in there. No, I think it's just because of the, the texture. Yeah. Like it's too like, smooth? Yeah. No, yeah, there's just more like thick. Yeah. Like, there's like an ice cream. Yeah. Yeah, there's that, just more ice cream. Like a, I don't know. Okay. But it's good. Here's what it could have been. Because it doesn't give you an actual measurement of the ice cream and it just says one big scoop, maybe, maybe too our much? scoop needed to be more. To make oh, it more ice cream texture oh, though. That's what I think. Yeah, oh. Wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. You guys, but this is good. This is really good. All right, you guys. Mm. Let us know if you plan on making this. Mm. It is good. We're gonna go ahead right now and move on to the corn dog. Mm. Okay, you guys, so I had to make another batch because I had to figure out like why it was the right consistency and it was the ice cream. You have to add more ice cream. So big scoop only tells it's you- It's big. It's big. I actually put two and a half of those big scoops in this one. Okay. So it's definitely a creamier texture, almost more ice creamier, and um, it tastes, honestly, it tastes better. Do you like, do you, do you like uh, pineapple Dole Whip? I'm like, yes, I do. Get Try here. Oh, this is way better, you guys. Add more ice cream wait, wait, if that it is didn't. A dole whip? Taste it. This is a Dole Whip. Oh my gosh, that's like good. Do you like Dole Whip from mm -hmm. Disney? Not try it. That's pretty good. Mm. That's really good. All right. Mm. Okay, Let's see this. if we can get an official. So good. <laughs> so good. good. Right? Okay, bye. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so that was bothering me. I was like, we gotta get the consistency right. So, add more ice cream. If it did become a little bit more liquefied, more ice cream goes a long way. All right, Danny's up. Here we go. All right, so when we said, when we decided we were gonna be doing the Disneyland corn dogs, I was like, I wanna do that. Literally, it's a corn dog. Danny loves corn dogs. Look at this though. Now I'm scared. <laughs> 
Jenny's like, I gotta use flour I and. Just done <laughs> dull with. So, no, honestly, I think this will be pretty easy. Yeah, I'm gonna do my best. So just so you know, we got some cornmeal, obviously some hot dogs, hot doggios, some skewer sticks, eggs, flour, the sugar, 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 and salt, milk, and baking powder. So we're gonna go ahead and get started, you guys. I'm excited. When I go to Disneyland, it's like guaranteed that I have to get one of their like fried corn dogs. Danny is a corn dog fanatic. So good. I feel like you're the perfect person to test this out. <laughs> yeah, I love corn dog. Comment down below what you like to dip your corn dogs in. I love mustard. Oh, mustard for sure. Yes. All right, you guys, so we're gonna go ahead and get started. I'm gonna go ahead and put all of the, basically we're gonna mix all of the powdered stuff into a bowl. So we got one cup of cornmeal. Boom. Boom. Then we're gonna get one cup of flour. One cup of flour. Boom. All right, so we got two tablespoons of sugar. We go boom, boom. Nice. Then we're gonna go with the salt, which is half a teaspoon. So half a teaspoon of salt, boom. And then we've got two teaspoons of the baking powder. So, one, two. Nice. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna mix in all of the powdered stuff. Gonna make this nice and mixed. <laughs> wow. 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 Went from white to yellow to light yellow. <laughs> wow. How awesome is that, you guys? That's pretty awesome. Ooh, looks like a powdered Dole Whip. So now what I'm doing is we just melted a little bit of butter and then we're gonna mix in the um, the milk, the egg, and the melted butter. We're gonna mix it in here. So we got two tablespoons of butter. My wife is awesome <laughs> and she loves me. And we never argue at 12 at night making <laughs> corn dogs. <laughs> oh my god. Oh, the things that you choose. <laughs> The things you choose to pick at each other at midnight when that you're doesn't making happen. corn dogs Whatever. in the happiest place on earth. You got flour on your boob, oh. be quiet. <laughs> wow. So I've got the shortening or the butter in. I've got one cup of milk. And I'm gonna go ahead and get you guys one egg. Do we know how many corn dogs this can make a batter for or? Um. Good question, Danny. I'm, I'm not sure. We could find that out later. But yeah, we'll look it up. In. We'll look it up. So here we are. I'm gonna go ahead and mix up this batter. Oh wow. Let's see so it. So totally getting it. This is gonna be the batter that's gonna go on the outside of the hot dog, making it the corn dog. It's and the best part of the whole thing, huh? Yes. So it's literally like mixing a pancake mix. It actually does smell good though. It it actually does. So then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna mix <clears throat> this, get it to a real good consistency, and then I'm gonna put it into like a slender cup so I could just easily dip the hot dogs in here. When I, so when I was younger, did you ever have, I don't know if it was just like a California thing. Probably. Did you ever have hot dog on a stick? No, we no. didn't, but okay. I, we have, I've heard of it. Comment down below if you guys know of hot dog on a stick, if that's just a California thing, but that's where everyone wore like those red, white, yellow, the funky. That, they're still around, right? I think so. They're usually in malls. Oh, okay. And it just reminds me of them taking the stick and then dipping it Ooh. in the batter when they make your hot dog. But wow, check this out. This is, it's going pretty good. Going pretty good. It's Ooh, all mixed nice up. Oh, nice and smooth. All right, we're gonna get ready to pour this in and we've got the, we've got the oil burning. No. And Burning? I hope it's not burning. We got the oil, what? The oil heating up? Yes. And uh, whatever. Whatever. You know what I, mean. I know, I got you. It's gonna fry some weenies. <laughs> so, oh, wow. Here we go. We're gonna get this batter poured in and we'll show you guys and we're gonna make that hot dog. So here we go. Got the skewer. We're gonna slide it in. Boom. <laughs> so let's see. <laughs> wow. You have to um, twirl it, it yeah, says. It says get generously. Twirl that bad boy. It's thick. It's like the skewer's coming out. So we're gonna go ahead and dip it in, nice and evenly, and then I'm gonna just plop it in. Just okay. Oh shoot. Let me get it in a little bit more. See if I could fit it there. There, you did it. I'm 
try to get another one in there. You gotta hey. make sure, okay, this is real thick. So you have to make sure you the stick that you're using, the skewer stick you're using, is strong enough for it. All right, so here we go. As coated as I can get it. I'm gonna plop and drop it. Wow, corn dogs aren't as easy as you would think, honestly. No. I just let it cook up a little and then split, I guess. Wow. <laughs> These are sure looking Disneyland esque. These are not. Oh my gosh. Maybe you could try one of these. And I'll try see one. How it does. Yeah, I'll try it and see. Oh my mama Sita. Literally, I'm getting floaters. Dang it, what are we doing wrong, guys? All right, we got the pro here. She's gonna try oh, one out. No, don't call me a pro. I've literally never done this. Probably gonna be similar to how Danny's was. Oh, here we go. Well, you got it on real thick. I think you have to, right? For it to. It doesn't stay on though, that's the problem. It almost slides off. Wow. Uh, Comment down below if you have an idea as to what, why we're running into complications, you guys. There was that? another recipe that had honey and, and buttermilk, and this one we did obviously does not. So I wonder if that makes a difference. Let's go try it. This isn't gonna work. It's not coated all the way around. Just put it in, we, not, we gotta do it. All right, here we go. Hey, I'll still eat it like that. Watch your fingers, boom. I'll still eat it like that. Look, that's how that one came out. You guys, that's not bad. <laughs> it's not bad. Got a little bit of wings, a little bit of wings. Ridiculous. Honestly, I would totally eat this. Do it. Ooh, give me some. We're gonna cook these bad boys up, you guys. Oh. I'm gonna go ahead and try this one out with, uh, with some mustard and we'll see how it tastes. All right, you guys, so I'm gonna <laughs> prove to you. I'm gonna stab back here so we don't know what those look like. <laughs> No, I'm saying that's not your fault. I'm I don't know what's going on. I'm proud of these because I'm going to prove to you that it's not what it looks like, <laughs> it's what it tastes like. Okay. All right? Yep. Right. It was hard, you guys. I did mine too, and it was not, I don't know why it's falling off. Let's see. It's a nice crunch right there, though. Mm. Good? Amazing? Good. Wow. Really good. Really? No joke. Wow. A little bit light on the the, the breaded part. Yeah. Like a little light. Like not as bready, I guess you could say. Um, a little thin. I know that um, Disneyland, you could bite it, like almost peel off like. The outer bread. layer. It's like breaded. Yeah. You know? This is not as much, so. So we're obviously doing something wrong here, you guys, but I'm sure you guys could figure it out and do it better than us, so. There's a reason why Disney has it. Oh yeah, they got all those uh, professional so fryers and everything. Mm. But you know what, this does hit the spot. So good. Mm -hmm. So Tina went ahead and we tried one. She put one in with the oil was actually hotter. You guys, it was the oil. So the oil was actually hotter and sticks much better, <laughs> quicker. I don't think this is bad. If, if I went to Disney and they gave me a, a corn dog like this, I'd be like, <laughs> I'd be like, uh, I paid $20 for that corn dog. Give me something better. No way, this is good. It's okay. It looks like Listen a sandwich. <laughs> it looks like a hot dog on a stick. <laughs> Turn it around again. Oh my, that's just sad. <laughs> you guys, come on. Yeah, you would eat it. Oh Seriously though, but that was the key. Make sure the oil is hot enough, all right? And it'll turn out like that. Yeah, you <laughs> oh man, you guys, that was a lot harder than expected. Yeah. So let us know down below. I'm sure you guys will let us know. What are we doing wrong? Just tell us. Hey, but honestly, we'll try this again. Like I said, it doesn't matter how it looks. It matter how it tastes. Yes, and it was. It's good. It's actually really good. It's really good. Yeah. We just got, need to master the other stuff. Yeah. So shall we move on to the churros? Ooh. Let's try this churros, your turn. All right. Okay, you guys, so we are gonna try out these churros. Let's hope they turn out. I don't know, you guys. Either that, we're just gonna kill each other. But, uh, yeah, that's how it's... <laughs> Freaking, where are those corn dogs stay? <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this is not a good combo. Uh, Things not working out, it's late at night. Whatever, you guys. We could easily just be like, forget it, we won't do it. But you know what? We're giving you guys a video no matter what, even yes. if this is a Disney fail. And We've never claimed to be professionals with cooking or anything else, so you guys know. Sometimes when things are fails, they're fails. But I do not think the Dole Whip was a fail, no. and I do not think the corn dogs were a fail because no. 
I was just telling Tina, I think the way the corn dogs came out, they're a little bit more relatable. Yes. Because not everything's going to be cookie cutter. Send us your pictures of your corn dogs. <laughs> And no yes. cheating, no frozen corn Yes, dogs. serious. <laughs> that was harder than I thought. Yeah. So, I don't know. We'll keep doing it until we perfect it, but you guys get like our first try, our first go at it. And I'm going to say two things. Make sure that your skewer stick is strong. It's got to be strong. Because that batter mix is thick. It's thick. Also, make sure <laughs> your oil is very hot. Yes. Okay. I agree with everything you're saying. <laughs> and my husband is the best. Yes. Oh, you have a husband? No. <laughs> Your <laughs> husband is the best. <laughs> this is awkward. Okay, you guys. So, really, we are moving on to the churros. It seems like it's going to be easy, no. but with the way things are going, we'll see. So, if nothing else, you guys will get the recipe out of it. So, yes. that's good. So, okay. So, basically, what you're going to need for this is eight ounces of butter, a cup of water, cinnamon, eggs, sugar, flour, salt, and um, oil to cook it up. Oil is not our friend. No. <laughs> just gonna say that. So, let's just get going. Let's do this. It's Danny. Oh, sorry. <laughs> I got confused. You guys, Tia totally forgot my name. <laughs> For some reason, she called me dummy. I was like, uh, it's Danny. It's not dummy. <laughs> Okay, dummy. <laughs> okay, dummy. <laughs> That's your new name now. Oh, wow. I just renamed you. <laughs> dummy. Oh. <laughs> okay, dummy. <laughs> they sound similar. Oh, wow. It works. Okay, so first thing you're going to do is you're going to get a little pan, a saucepan thingy. And you're going to do eight ounces of butter. I already melted mine because I didn't realize I was putting this in a saucepan, but whatever. There we go. So eight ounces of butter, and then you're gonna do a cup of water. And then you are gonna take one fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon, and you're gonna put it in there. Wow. And you're <laughs> That's so cool. <laughs> shut up, shut up, shut up. So what you're gonna do is you're just gonna mix all that up, the butter, the water, the cinnamon. All mixed up. Don't, don't know, know what, what to, to do. do. And then you're gonna just wait till it gets to like a rolling. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why you're laughing. Because your face. <laughs> I'm looking through the camera. <laughs> you're like. <laughs> <laughs> we are gonna wait till this gets to a rolling boil. Then you're gonna put the there. You're gonna put the heat, the fire stuff. I'm gonna smack you so hard. <laughs> uh, you're gonna put that on low. And then you're gonna add the flour, which is one and one fourth cup. Boom, let's go. Okay, so it's getting there. Wow. Wow. First thing I think of when I see that is churro. Really? Yeah. Why? <laughs> Just joking. <laughs> you're weird. <laughs> so if you ever want a Disney you guys, if you ever want a Disney corn dog, come on over. Our new slogan is they might not look good, but are they relatable? <laughs> Heck yeah, they're relatable. Check that out. <laughs> oh, man. We promise coming up next week, we will have a cook with me next week that will be relatable, delicious, and it will look good. Okay, so we've got it to a boil. We are going to turn the heat to low. And we are going to add one and one fourth cup of flour to this. Oh, wow. Until it forms into a ball. That's what it says. Okay. So we're going to stir this up. Look at this. You guys, I just, I know we're going to mess this up somehow. No, I think that's already looking good. You think so? Yeah. Hey, you guys, that Dole Whip was bomb. Yeah, that Dole Whip was, that is worth this video. If you want, we'll show it to you again. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Round five. <laughs> All right, check this out, you guys. So far, so good. Oh, wow. Yeah. So basically, you're gonna take that off the heat and you're gonna let it rest, it says, for five to seven hours. Are you serious? No. Oh it's my god. It's five gosh. to seven minutes. <laughs> Daddy's <laughs> face just went into full on. I was like, uh, <laughs> I gotta work in the morning. Oh crap, this sucks. So you guys, that's what it looks like right now. We're gonna let it rest There's about five your turtle. Thank you, bye. <laughs> you're welcome. 
<laughs> hey, that's a Disney song. It doesn't look good, but is it relatable? <laughs> Oh on. man. Okay, really though, we're gonna let this rest five to seven minutes and then we're gonna show you the rest of it. You now that it's sat for five to seven minutes, we are going to crack the eggs one at a time. Oh, man. How many eggs? Three eggs. So we're gonna stir them one at a time. So we got one in there. So I'm gonna just kind of stir it up into this bad boy. And then, wow. <laughs> <laughs> are you a cat? Meow. <laughs> this is amazing. Oh, wow. <laughs> wow. Do you say it's amazing? Amazing. <laughs> okay, you guys, so here's the dough. That's what that looks like. Actually, it looks pretty decent. So I think we did something correctly. <clears throat> now we're just making the cinnamon and the sugar and mixing together. So you're going to need um, a half a cup of sugar and a fourth of a teaspoon of cinnamon. And then we are going to just mix that around. Because this is what the churros are going to be dipped in after they come out of the fryer. Oh. You're going to roll it around in this bad boy. Was it a fourth of a teaspoon or a half of a teaspoon of cinnamon? I'm sorry, it was a half of a teaspoon, babe. Thank you. No problem. Okay, so half a teaspoon and then half a cup of sugar. Okay, so we got the oil ready and we are going to put this dough into a piping machine. If it doesn't work, I might cry, you guys. No, that looks like legit dough. I think that'll work. Yeah, this I've, one actually was probably the easiest recipe. Well, the dough whip was easy too, guys. I've made this recipe before. Not this one, but I've made churros before with Ethan. And they did not turn out well. They are way too, like, liquidy. Oh, see, and this one looks pretty doughy. Yeah. Hey, here we go, you guys. So it says one inch. So these are the churro bites. These are the one inch bites. We're going to try this out. Oh, I'm scared. All right. Okay, wow, there they look are. At those. Little mini churros. And then it says just drain it on a um, paper towel. Wow. Oh, that's cute. All right, you guys. So we got quite a few. Yeah, and actually, this is, um, it worked out great for Danny and I to work together on this. Yeah, like, squeezing it out, and then she was cutting them. Yeah, he would squeeze, and I would chop it with the spoon. It was much easier that way. Check those out. Ooh, so I have to dip those. I think they're coming out good. Yep. Okay guys, so we got quite a bit here. We still have a lot more to do, but check these out. Not too shabby. We're gonna literally throw them right here into the cinnamon sugar and just kind of. Wow. Ooh, that's good. Just toss them all in there. I know, might as well, huh? <laughs> might as well. What are we wasting time for? Look at that. That's pretty good. Wow. Success. I think so. You guys, hot dogs turned out okay too. Actually, everything turned out okay. Just the <laughs> looks of them, not so much. Come on. <laughs> Come on. Come on. That's a corn dog if I have ever seen one. That, if that's not relatable, I don't know what is. Oh my gosh. But check those out, you guys. Those came out real good. Yeah, so these are made to be one inch. We went a little bigger on some just because we felt like it. But um, check go, that out. Go ahead and try one out. I think I will. Let me stir this around. All right, moment of truth, you guys. Here we go. Ready? Uh. Those good? Those are bomb. Really? These are so good. So good, yeah? Mmm. And these are dangerous because they're so small. You feel like oh. you're not eating very much. Oh, but... wow. Slow down there. Mmm. Nah. <laughs> all, yeah. right, you... all right, you guys. So there you have it. Churros. Disney churros. I think that's a success. Mm -hmm. I think overall we had probably a good... I would give it out of a 10, all three, I'd give about eight out of 10. On all of them? On, no, for total, total, total Disney show. One of the eight out of 10. and overall score. I think the Dole Whip was a nine out of 10. I think the, the corn dogs were about a three out of 10. And then, <laughs> taste wise? Taste wise, they were very good actually. Okay. Very, very good. I don't try the corn dogs. I'm not a hot dog fan, so I'll take your word for it. And then the churros would be what? Nine out of 10, 10 out of 10? I like them. I would say nine. Nine? Nine. Yeah. All right, there you have it. So pretty good, you guys. All right, you guys, so there you have it. As we told you guys before, we are not professionals, but this was fun. Yeah. This was fun, especially the yeah. behind the scenes <laughs> stuff. So you guys, let us know if you guys tried this out or if you have tried it, how did it work out for you? All of the things, send us, 
like I said, we want to see pictures of your corn dogs. Yes. So please send us pictures of the corn dogs. And that's it, you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, like this video, and we'll see you guys tomorrow. And don't forget, choose your day. day.